August is National Picnic Month, if you didn't know, and in honor of it, Rosemary Orozco is joined this morning by entertainment and hospitality expert, Hugh Groman. And Rosemary, we got some uh, good food over there. We've been eyeing. We're a little jealous. Can smell it. Yes. Everybody loves a great salad, and Hugh is here to show us how to put together salads that you can do in advance, that you can take with you, and they last the entire day. And I looked at all the recipes, and I thought, oh, well, they all have vinegar. And you said, well, no, this one has a little bit of mayo, so let's just get started. Started. We'll go with this one first. Absolutely. Uh, these are three of my favorite salads. Uh, this is a fresh corn, airy co uh, sugar snap pea, and okay. a tiny tomato salad, and a red wine shallot vinaigrette. And I love that there is no spring mix or spinach or it's just all vegetables. Yeah, much better for a picnic as well. You don't want to have a, a green salad on a picnic unless it's a really cool day. Um, so I'm just going to put this together with red wine vinegar, Dijon mustard, shallots. And why did you decide a vinaigrette as opposed to something with mayo Salt or... Salt and pepper. Um, you know, I, I just think this is really light and fresh mm -hmm. and um, bright, and it really highlights the flavors of the vegetables. It doesn't uh, kind of muddy them. And this, especially in the summer, these tiny tomatoes are so sweet. The corn is so sweet. These sugar snappies are so beautiful. So this is just going to really highlight them. So all I did is I put all those things in there, whisk, and then just real slowly I just kind of put in the olive oil. Okay, that's the key. That's the to dressing. Mix while you're pouring then, in the yeah. olive oil. Yes, yes. And that, that'll give you that emulsion that you're looking for. And this is a very bright salad. The proportion of vinegar to oil is very high because um, when you don't have the, the lettuce leaves, yes. uh, you can go a little more bright and sour. I love it. And all those are in season? Yes, of course. It's okay. very summery. Let's move on to the yep. potato. Yep. So I've had potato with mayo. I've had potato with sour cream. This is also this is really like a, a vinaigrette. I learned this salad uh, from a, her name was Melissa in, uh, in New York City. She has a very fancy bakery. Oh. And um, she taught me the salad and it's just always stuck with me. You take the, the, the potatoes Potato? and you roast them okay. rather than boiling them. Okay, I and can see ideally you roast them bubbled. kind of that morning. That's one thing you don't want to do too far ahead because you want them to be just as crispy and delicious as you can. Okay. And then you've got these roasted red peppers. All right. And then fresh goat cheese. And if you don't like goat, you could do feta. You could do feta would be delicious with okay. that. Yeah, any kind of like flavorful salty cheese. Okay. And then there's, there's this like uh, golden balsamic and um, and then you just put a little extra salt and pepper and a little more olive oil and you just toss and it together to and that that's what it looks gorgeous. like. gorgeous. Oh, and I forgot the basil. Oh, okay. I want this oh, beautiful count, green yes. basil. Have it's to have raining the basil. basil. I love the smell of this. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the coleslaw. Okay, great. So this is the poppy seed coleslaw. I'm going to show you this dressing. The dressing is great. This okay. is one of those dressings that is good on everything. And that's I, really the key because besides that, it's just yeah, exactly. cabbage and, and carrots, yeah. right? Cabbage, cabbage is pretty sad on its own but when you put it with the right stuff oh yeah it's, it's delicious fabulous so it's a little Dijon mustard yes there's sugar in this but okay. that's what makes it delicious garlic chopped garlic um, and this is unusual celery seed that's and so poppy sweet. seed poppy seed Yum, no mm. basil and then um, we got the salt and pepper and then and pepper. Uh, this also has I this see white Frank vinegar over here he's Oops. already ready to try yeah and you and all these recipes can be found uh, on our website yeah. and and then I put in some olive oil. And then you finish this one with the mayonnaise. And that's going to um, give you that kind of creamy, thicker. All right, we're going to bring a Claudine and Frank in You here. see us creeping over? Yeah, yes. come on in. OK, sure good. So here, take plates. Here's where, plates. Where there's food. And then uh, there should be a spoon there. Oh take some and taste it. And Very quickly forks. before we wrap up, Hugh. So uh, if for somebody who doesn't want to prepare the morning of, how early can the first salad be prepared? You can do all this oh, work the day before. I like to mix the dressing with the vegetables okay. uh, that morning with salt and pepper. Okay. But you oh. can even do that the day before. You. Pepper, this is a good one to finish. The goat the cheese is amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. The, the vinegar, I know, I again, the cheese. savory goat cheese. Too far from it. All I can't right. reach it. Yeah, and, we're going to keep And what about this one? one? Yeah. And then this one, you can make uh, everything mm. the days before, and then you just, just, dress, just put it together in the morning. Just before? Yeah. All right. Good, 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 good going. Everybody ready to gobble? All right, I'm All right, for the coleslaw. Ready. I think we're going to take a break. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. we got some eating to do. <laughs> oh, my God, this is good. Coleslaw. Oh,